everyone, my name is Cole Faison, and welcome back to Yoshi's Story! <laughs> In the last episode, we completed Jungle Puddle, we dodged all the blurps, and then I... <laughs> I died a couple of times. Shit. <laughs> but, I don't know what happens. Fat ass fish. And yeah, I was pretty much screeching last episode, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, probably blew some people's ears out. Uh, but yeah, today in this episode, we are going to be doing lots of fish. Not jellyfish, but lots of damn fish. So let's get started. And since we did the white Yoshi last episode, we're going to go ahead and I guess play the black Yoshi. Because I haven't played him quite a while. I think I played him in the third episode. So it's been um, seven episodes. But well, here we go. Swim, swim. Yeah, so Black Yoshi, can I? Oh, man, the tongue controls in the water are just not that great. You're going to see me trying to probably eat enemies, and it's going to go to something else. <laughs> it's just kind of annoying. But yes, we have the little clam thing. With the Wait, what did I get hit? Oh, I just, like, I'm blind. <laughs> the Mr. Eels are back, man. Oh, um, but hello, today is Wednesday. Yeah, so the video, I lied. I made a video on Monday. I said I was going to do one Saturday or Sunday, and I was like, you know what? I might as well just do two episodes and put one on Monday and then have this one for Wednesday. So, yeah, happy Wednesday. Happy happy hump day, guys. Wake up, Miss Shits. All right, um, so some platforms here. This level is more relaxing than the last one, but um, it's like kind of all over the place. You pretty much, I feel, spend more of your time above the sea trying to get melons than you do... Um, trying to get melons in the ocean because you know it's an ocean level so i know it's really weird uh hidden melon right there but uh this episode's probably gonna go pretty quick because finding these melons aren't that bad like i said the majority of them are above the sea for whatever reason even though this level's in the water lots of fish but yeah speaking of fish i don't know about you guys but i love sushi <laughs> my favorite sushi is unagi the eel Love, eel, nigiri. I don't think, I've never had- No, I accidentally ate this! I meant to eat the, the, the stupid cheap sheep, God. Okay, oh my gosh. You, you see me sticking my tongue out to eat it and then I get hit. It's bullshit. Yeah, fuck you too, eel. Oh my God, he grabbed it again, are you serious? Well, at least the cheap cheap was way over to the left side than it was near the stupid melon. Anyways, I'm free. Oh my gosh, it's not that hard to eat that stupid melon. Oh. Anyways, here's this weird thing. Um, sea anemone. I remember I was trying to get the fruit the first time doing this, and of course it knocked the fruit out when I was trying to eat it, and so it pretty much messed everything up. Um, but after that, I go inside this little yellow pipe here. I think my brother is next door looking for the PS4 because he wants to play Monster Hunter again. <laughs> I feel like that's like weird of him now because he stopped playing games, I feel like, some years ago. But like he always used to play the shit out of Monster Hunter, and I guess now he wants to play it again, which makes me happy. Get back into games again. Um, but for this one, this is like the shy guys in the background. Uh, basically, you gotta wait for these cheap cheeps. And um, you just y y y eat them. You eat them. Get as many as you can! Uh, without eating the stupid watermelon, please! <laughs> uh, but the whole reason to eat these is not just for the melons as well. Ow. Um, but eating all of these cheap cheeps will spawn a super happy heart. Oh, I gotta. <laughs> he's like, has the bubbles up and he's like, he has the bubbles and he's like, tossing. God! I just, I just, look at this, look at that! Do you see that? I can't even grab that. I mean, it's not necessary, but... Yeah, you know. Um, uh, maybe if I keep talking, it won't be so bad, uh, when these cheap cheeps would happen. Okay, Ooh. I didn't wanna, I didn't even know there was another watermelon there. I just have to wait. Be patient. Okay. Uh, we can get the, uh, we can get the melons later, please! Let me do this in- No, you stupid bitch! Oh my god. Fucking knocked me. There's only one more left. Ugh. Finally. Oh my gosh. It literally takes forever for this little bitch to come in and so I can eat it. And there is the first heart. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I feel like I've been in a while. 
Um, uh, but yeah, I feel like that one's a little bit more annoying. I feel like shy guys appear faster than those guys. Um, uh, but anyways, we are in and out of one pipe, and then we gotta go in another one. Ooh, ooh. Like I said before, uh, most of the melons you get are through these pipes. So, yeah. And so this one... I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of those, because I want my black eggs! I wanted to match the Yoshi, man. Okay, so this one is, you got the bees here. And it's timed. Because they're like, ah, nah, you, you gotta go back that way, you know, from the huts, because they're annoying and whatever. Anyways, uh, so what you do is hit the rock, and that starts the timer. And you pretty much just do your little smelly thing. And pretty sure that was a heart, fruit heart, heart fruit? <laughs> heart, fruit heart, oh god. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you pretty much do your little sniffing thing all the way over here. And then that's how you get those two. Um, but yeah, this level's really weird. I feel like they just th throw in everything. I don't know. It's just like, they, could, they couldn't make up their minds about this level. They name it lots of fish, but it's just, you spend more time above the sea level, so. <laughs> ah, that's weird. And aren't you guys proud of me? This video is being recorded after episode 10. Like, whoa! I feel like I've never done that in my life. I gotta go to bed soon, and so I, you know, I gotta edit and all that stuff. Thank God that it hit me. Would have been annoyed. Cause it would have fallen out of my tongue. And yeah, the sea uh, cacti. Oh come on, you shit! I'm far away from that. What? Please go. Okay. Yeah, you got the sea cacti again, which I still find these things to be super weird looking because it's it's like they don't fit the animation, I guess, of the fish or Yoshi or anything like that. It's like they move, but they don't have the same graphics, I guess. And getting that heart will give you three more. Jeez. Oh, Mr. Eel, fuck off! Ooh, probably turning into sushi. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Anyways, back in to another pipe. I like this shy guy here, because, uh, when you eat the melon. Oh my god, god where'd it go? <laughs> this is really funny. And so, um, there is a little hidden switch right here. And it spawns two melons. And then. Yeah, there's a heart fruit right there. Ooh, you know, speaking of, like, fruit, this isn't even really related, but, like, I love gummy snacks. Those are so good. I don't know why, it just reminded me of it. And, um, I don't know. Like, do you guys like gummy snacks? I love gummy snacks. I don't know why. I don't really... I don't know if I have really a favorite. I mean, Welch's are really good, but I don't know if there's, like, other gummy snacks that people enjoy. I mean, there's the Mott's. I think, like, don't they make canned tomato shit, too? <laughs> Anyways, like, I feel like those don't taste taste as good as, um, the Welch's one. But the Welch's are, like, it's one of those brand names where you have to pay more, but they're really good. And then, um, I found these Toy Story ones, which those are okay. They're not as good as the Pokemon ones I've had. There's, um, I've had the Mario ones, the Super Mario ones, and then I've also had the Pokemon ones. Fireworks! I want my eggs. Um, but to, yeah, to just, I don't know why. I really like fruit snacks. Um, so we have one of these mini games again, but it's not as bad. Um, there is a melon right here. I always try to. I've noticed with this level only, I don't know about the other levels, but I feel like you have to ground pound at the seam on the floor of this level, and I feel like those are where the, um, what do you call it? The melons are. Um, but anyway, so this mini game is not as hard as the last one. Um, but this one's a little tricky because this one actually has to do with the beehive, and you know with beehives we have to be sneaky sneak. So pretty much just hold your sniffing shit. <laughs> and then yeah, pretty easy. First time of course I did this, I messed it up. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Five more. One more, and our secret letter of the day is the letter P, as in please shut the fuck up. <laughs> please pick my nose. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just being stupid. Anyways, um, last heart is right there, and the last melon is actually right here at this beehive. And that is it. Oh, I like the little happy heart right there. Like pause the happy flower. Pause like at like the best time. I feel like. Yoshers! Deep ass voice. And let's see what our mood is. Is it above 5,000? Oh, it is. 5,500. 
<laughs> also, yeah, by the time this video gets uploaded, I'll be done with clinicals, so woo! And of course, at the end of the semester, I have to do a presentation. Like, what did you learn here? Be like, well, I learned the same shit as I did in my last clinical, so just, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I can hear my brother rummaging through the boxes. The deep, wide ocean would not be an easy swim, but the Yoshis dove in. For the first time in their lives, the Yoshis swam to the ocean floor. No, that's not true. You did it in lots of jellyfish. After reaching the shore, the Yoshis found their story coming to a close. The page turned, and the Yoshis grew happier. <laughs> happier! Okay, I need to stop that sentence creepy. <gasps> Alright guys, we are back on page six! So! Next time on Yoshi's Story, we are going to be doing Lift Castle. So, thank you all so much for watching, and see you guys later.